Today we're testing out LBT Laser Bond 100 Marking Spray from Johnson Plastics Plus to see how well it holds up on a few different stainless steel cups. I've got a pint glass, a stemless wine glass, and a coffee tumbler here to test out. They also sent over the Laser Bond paste version, so we'll check that out later in the video and see how it compares. And with that, let's get into it. Using the spray is super straightforward. Just shake it up like you would with a regular spray paint and spray from about 10 inches away using nice even passes. You don't need to go heavy with it, just get a smooth even coat. When it dries, it turns kind of a matte gray color with a little bit of shine showing through so you can still see faintly the metal underneath. It dries pretty quickly, about five minutes maybe, and then it's ready to engrave. I did a material test on a pine glass just to dial in the settings since some of our previous tests were close but just a bit light. After finding the right setting, I ran a Halloween design on the pine glass. A quick rinse under warm water took off the leftover coating and left behind a nice dark mark with really solid contrast. Next I moved on to the stemless wine glass and again great results. So I decided to go a little bigger and try a full wrap design, and those came out just as clean using the same settings. Then I tried the tumbler, and this one behaved a little differently. While it was engraving, the laser bond was turning more silver compared to the darker gray that we saw in the other cups. I let it finish just to see what would happen, but after washing it off, the mark wasn't as dark. I'm pretty sure there's a coating on the tumbler that's reacting differently with the laser bond. Even after running another material test on the tumbler, the darker areas still had a slightly uneven texture to them. Next, I tried the LBT Laser Bond 100 Paste, which is basically just a concentrated version of the spray. The directions say to mix one part alcohol with one part paste. Once I got it blended, I used a melamine sponge, since I didn't have a sponge brush, and wiped it onto the cup. It went on a little streaky, but once it dried and I ran the engraving, it actually came out similar to the spray. Nice dark mark, no issues. The paste is a bit cheaper, which is a bonus, but even though I got good results, I'm suspicious that the consistency could vary depending on how you mix it. So if you plan to use it regularly, just try to be consistent with your ratios. Overall, both versions of the Laser Bond 100 worked really well. They are quick to dry, easy to use, and work great if you have a CO2 laser and want to put a mark on stainless steel or other metals. Big thanks to Johnson Plastics Plus for sending these over and sponsoring this video, and if you want to try it out, I'll leave the links in the description below. Also, thank you to the Laser Master Academy members for making what we do possible. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you can get notified the next time we release a video. I think that's all for now, and we'll see you in the next one.